Hey guys, so I just came from my laser treatment. Um, you can see where the laser went over, like you can see the marks on my face. It's really intense. <laughs> it hurts more than the microneedling. Even though the microneedling is puncturing you, this is lasering you. It just feels like your face is being <laughs> burnt off. But like the microneedling hurts more when it's being done than the laser. It's just the aftermath. The aftermath of the the microneedling feels stinging but not as intense stinging as this one so that's what I mean I mean during the procedure the laser was tolerable um, it, it's less less painful than the microneedling but I guess the after it just feels more like a sunburn kind of like tingling and in, in, in heat so I mean it's it's nothing that you'll scream over I like to think I don't have a huge threshold for pain but I don't know. Beauty is pain and is so worth it. I don't care what I got to do to keep my youth and look young. I'm going to do it. Hey guys, so we're just coming to Value Village and we're going to check out what they have because I was in the area doing my, my laser on my face. So we're going to check out what they have here today. So they have this fake Kate Spade. Oh, they lowered the mat and that to 40 bucks. This Kate Spade is 60 and it's fake. Tory Birch. Tory Birch is real. We're gonna get that, I think. Yeah, because I'm gonna still here. We'll examine the Tory Birch more, but. It looks to be authentic. Their fake Chanel. Fake Chanel scarf for $25. They have here. Yeah, this Tory Birch is totally authentic. You can kind of tell already. 80 bucks is a stretch, but actually it's not that bad. Plus I have my 30% off coupon to use. I like this detail on the chain too. It's really cute. I've owned actually this bag before. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like in the mirror. I actually don't know if I'm feeling the bag. <laughs> I mean, it is Tory Burch. It can command a good, decent price. What is this? Is this like an Hermes wannabe? Looks like it. Hmm. I find that the bags that really sell well are the bags that are like, what is this? Like the Italian made bags, like the leather bags that are really well made. Like those ones seem to command a really good price for reselling for me. So I hope I find something like that. I can't tell if this is leather, but it's, it seems to be like well made. I don't know, we'll still keep looking. My face is on fire. Gagne. Hmm. $7.99. Oh, this one looks kind of toe up from the flow up. What's going on with this? <laughs> I don't know. That's a little raggedy. Okay, so I think I think we're gonna pass on this Tory Birch just because it's just because it's like, I don't know. It's it. This reminds me of like the 70s, like this chain gold thingy. There's wear on the side and for 80 bucks. I mean, I remember I used to have this bag and I bought it for, I forgot how much I bought it for, but it, uh, it wasn't a, it, oh, hi. <laughs> how are you? How are you? <laughs> good. So you find anything good? I found this Tory Birch pass on it because it's like 80 bucks. Yeah, they 
sell for like 400. Did you see the lugs? It's kind of pricey. I haven't gone here for a long time because I'm back to work, right? I only do this when I have time. Oh, are you in the area? No, my my daughter's in track. Oh. Till 12, so just a little time. <laughs> yeah, so good luck. Find yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so even though I'm going to pass on this uh, Tory Burke, I'm going to put it back over there. I found these two Disney movies. I like to collect them again. I started collecting Disney movies again. So we found Wally -E and we found Dinosaur. This is a really good one. So Let's see what else they have. Ooh, they have some weights. My weights at home are actually getting a little bit light for me. Whoa! <laughs> it was loose. So, oh, I'll get out of your way. Sorry. <laughs> These ones. Oh, these are weird looking. Hey guys, Miss Philly here. Miss Philly here. <laughs> um, okay, so I just finished my clear and bright laser treatment on my face. <clears throat> it was fine dizzle. Fine dizzle. Uh, it's a little bit uh, uncomfortable, but tolerable. I mean, during the procedure, microneedling hurts more than than this. Okay, so we were at Value Village, and their Uggs were hella expensive. They were like $65 each, and they were kind of worn, and I had an inkling. That I've never owned Uggs, but they felt like they were fake. Other than, that, other than that, they might be just made cheaply. I don't know if Uggs feel cheap, but... These Uggs felt cheap, like not even front end. Can, hi, can I get the a croissant breakfast sandwich? Sausage or bacon? Um, the sausage. Okay, but the hash brown wants a drink? Uh, no, just, a hash, a just a hash brown, no drink. Okay, anything else? That's it. Okay, Actually, sorry, can you get rid of the hash brown? I don't want the hash brown. Okay. I asked on my Instagram from you guys if I should purchase uh, a Louis Vuitton luggage piece. Um, it's actually a fairly good price, actually. She wants $800 for it, but I actually lowballed her to $475. <laughs> and it looks to be like in excellent condition. So I don't know if I want it. Do I want it to match my key ball and my speedy? Do I? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even traveling. Why do I need it? And why am I spending money that I don't need to spend just because their sales are up? Just because sales are up, I feel like I can just spend money, which I shouldn't have that kind of mentality. I'll eat this when I'm parked. <laughs> Probably better. It doesn't say no U-turn, so we're going to the U-turn. You have to go to Safeway. I've never been to the Safeway. Too. Some, like whenever I go food shopping or grocery shopping, I don't know, I like to stick to what I know. I don't like to go to new places. It just kind of makes me anxiety. I don't know why gives me a little bit of anxiety to go to a food place I don't usually normally go to. Ooh, that's a lot of sun. Okay, we're gonna finish eating this shit. Actually really good. <laughs> When it comes to breakfast sandwiches, I usually like mayo on it. I don't know why, I just like mayo on my breakfast sandwiches for some reason. Whether it's like an Egg McMuffin, Sausage McMuffin, Bacon McMuffin, any kind of egg and sandwich. So.
anyway guys I don't know um yeah <laughs> I'm still debating whether or not I want to cancel with that lady and get the luggage because I don't know. I don't really need to spend for $75, $450 on a Louis Vuitton piece luggage anyway. Like, I have a keep all already. Why do I need another piece? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to go to Safeway first, get some food for Thanksgiving that I'm going to cook on Sunday. And then we're going to go maybe to Polo Park, Value Village. I still have to return... A Juicy Couture, that Juicy Couture black outfit that I got from Value Village because that one has a hole in it. Like, I really need to inspect the clothing more and inspect things in general more because I had to return the Juicy, I had to return the Michael Kors, I had to return the B. Mikowski. It's like, they probably think that I'm just buying and returning. <laughs> I mean, I've never actually returned that much before, so I don't know, but whatever. Whatevs. Um, yeah, we're going to run inside, get some food, and then, I don't know, I guess I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, crap, I didn't even catch it. That's Tim. Tim, sorry, Tim, we didn't, uh, we, uh, it wasn't filming when you were talking and I don't want you to, uh, go down, like roll your window down and tell you to film again. But yeah, we just met up with Tim. So yeah. Cool. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, we didn't really find anything thrifting, but the only thing that I picked up was from an online, like Craigslist Kijiji kind of thing. It's the Louis Vuitton Sirius 50 travel bag right here. Oh. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, we're going to move back. Lean back. Lean back. Because it is just so humongo. That's what it looks like. Uh, there's only one conditional issue on it. She listed this bag for... I can't even fit it in the frame, but... There. Um, she had it listed for $800. I was like, hell to the no, I'm not paying $800 for this. Um, <laughs> no. I mean... Granted, the 45 retails for over $2,000 on, on, uh, like, on Louis Vuitton. Because they still sell this model in a 45. This is a 50. And I think it comes in a 70 and a 60 as well. And so I was like, what's the best price you can do for this? She said she can do um, 500. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do 500. I'll give you 475. She's like, okay, I'll do 475. But... Like when I saw it, there's a little, there's a couple of condition, condition issues. There's like the piece inside that lays flat on the bottom, like here, like on one of these parts, there's like a piece of canvas or burlap or whatever, it, whatever it is that's laying like that. It's starting to peel like almost, cause I mean, this is a really old bag. This is like 30 years old actually. So, I mean, there are going to be some condition issues. It's not going to be perfect, but I mean, generally it's a really nice bag, good structure, good quality, no rips, no tears. Um, overall good like the canvas I mean the leather is still good the canvas is perfection like there's no issues with the canvas whatsoever um like there's like that's nothing um it came with the locks didn't come with the keys that's fine it came with this luggage tag it's a small one and the ones I've seen that were vintage came with a big luggage tag but those were like from the 90s and the and on this is from the 80s so I mean you know <laughs> Could be different, could be a different luggage tag. Regardless, I can tell that this is an authentic luggage tag. I mean, I've had one before, plastic still in there. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's one issue, aside from that burlap peeling, which is not a big deal, I just kind of like pushed it down and it stuck back on. Aside from that, there's one screw missing on this side. And it is, it was concerning to me. And if, I decide to take this into Louis Vuitton for repair. I'll get that repaired. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I assume it would be like $200, maybe $150. I don't know. But if I if that's too much for me, I'll just go to a cobbler and have him fix it and see what they can do. Um, but it's this part here. Like this rivet is there, but the backing of it, like, I don't know if you could see that. Where is it? Right there. Can you see that right there that hole it's missing the the backing of the rivet and then when you go inside the bag like the Louis Vuitton rivet is missing here this one so there the Louis Vuitton one is missing here and you can see the rivet missing there so yeah that's the only condition issue with it I mean it's still fully functional I mean 
as long as I don't pack it severely and I hold it by both handles at all times, then I think it's going to be fine. Um, this thing, I don't know what is this for, like this. I don't know what that's for. Did something used to be there? Is something missing? I don't know what that's for. Oh, I know what that's for. I think it's for the garment bag. I think. I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's for the garment bag that supposed to come with it. Like the older models, I think, I'm not 100% sure, came with garment bags, but that's fine. I don't need the garment bag. Could care less about a garment bag. What am I going to do with a garment bag? <laughs> and then there's like two compartments. And then here's a date code on here. Oh, where is it? Here's a date code. Um, the day code is, and there's like some staining like this. I'm going to try and rub that off with uh, vinegar and baking soda. The date code is 874VX, which means this was um, made in uh, April of 87, made in France. That's so April of 1987. So it is an old bag for an old hag. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love it. I, I really love it. I think I got a great price for it. I mean, $450 for a Louis Vuitton travel piece, like that's unheard of. Like even on eBay, most of them are going for like US dollars. So I think $475 US would, I mean $470, $450, whatever, $450 Canadian would probably be about $380 US. And I didn't have to pay duties. I didn't have to pay taxes. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'll do a more in-depth review about it. I just wanted to show you guys this. I love it. I mean, it'll match my keep all. Keep all on the shoulder, this on my hand. Like, how can you even like... I can't even be bothered, okay? <laughs> I'm, I just want to be extra. Love it. So that's basically the haul for today, that one piece. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are doing well. And until my next video, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay guys, okay guys, so oh, here's a lug, $40 for lug, yeah, no, are you insane, no, you're not paying $40 for lug, $40 for this, no, $30 for Aldo, no, Don't really see anything. It is kind of cute. Hmm, interesting. It's a very spring kind of bag. Don't think it's leather, but it's in like new condition. It's really cute. Not for 20 bucks though. It looks like the coach bag has been taken already because it's not here anymore. The vintage coach looks to be gone. Uh, there's nothing here today. Nothing good. Okay guys, so we're just coming from Value Village, Polo Park. Um, so the only thing we managed to get were these um, weights. They're 10 pounds each and they're pink, which I love that they're pink. Um, I exchanged that Juicy Couture top for that. And yeah, <laughs> um, I went to Pembina and I went to Polo Park. We didn't really find anything. So I'm starting to find my five pound ones to be kind of, um, have, uh, too light so the 10 pounds one will work perfectly that's that and yeah that's my Thanksgiving stuff and a couple of other things so yeah thank you guys for joining me today I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one bye
Exactly. I the biggest believe in karma and treating people right, you know? Even though that's the problem is it's like here's ten percent, here's ninety percent. Ninety percent you like them and you're into them, and then that slowly drops and the annoyance and the hate goes up and eventually it reaches a point where it's like Fuck you. And plus too, you really you really didn't care about it, right? Yeah. And we're falling more in love with them. We're falling in love with yeah. them, not? Yeah. yeah. So I see that. Yeah. That's an accurate statement. And if you would have spent more time with him, you would have been in love with him. Probably. Yeah. So, so it makes it really tough on you. But eventually you'll just come to a point where you'll realize you don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. Hopefully that comes sooner than later, though. How are you, though? He ever, he ever comes to <laughs> he doesn't know me. He has no idea who I am or anything like that, right? Okay. So if I find out he's coming to Winnipeg, don't tell me. I'm going to find out where you live and I'm going to follow you. I'm going to watch your, your Snapchat and I'm going to watch your YouTube. I'm going to find out where you are and then I'm going to show up there and I'm going to. Or lower your standards. 